What's up guys, so today we have a VOD review for a man named Herky. He's a platinum level Lucio, and he reached out to see if anybody can help him on uh, the Lucio main subreddit. Without further ado, let's hop right in and see what we can do. Oh, well, I'm gonna die anyways. If we can kill that May like that, there we go. Okay, so that was a total panic cult. Go, you didn't you. need to really use it there. The only people that really benefited from it was Roadhog. And there's an easy fix so that you could survive from this ult. Okay, so take a look. Over here, you have your amp it up available. So you can easily speed out of there with your uh, amp it up. Your Roadhog might not survive, but you can save your ult for a part where it's more crucial during a fight. Instead of wasting it, pretty much, just to kill this May after you've capped the point. Your spawn's right there, it doesn't really matter if, if you die or not at this like point. That. There we go, good job. Heck yeah, dude, heck yeah. Alright, so our next clip here, I wanted to showcase Herky and his awesome job at making this push happen. I can speed boost us in. 3, 2, 1, go, we're going. So he indicates to his team that he is going to speed boost. This is an awesome way to get your team to be all on the same wavelength and be pushing in at the same time. It's what really takes the next step into teamwork in your competitive uh, groups. I can speed so boost this in. we do that. Three, two, one, go. We're going. It's awesome. We all go in, and then he pops his ult. Now, with his ult here, he does something really good. We can see that there is an Orisa shield right there, and he makes sure to move out of the way so that he can get his Rhine with the sound barrier as well. Awesome play, it really shows that he's aware of his surroundings during this. The only problem that I have with this alt, or with this push, is after that, he's kind of just standing around. He's not really doing much, he's poking at the supports, but what he should be doing is he should have been with his D.Va and his Pharah. Those were the two people on his team that were going in hard and pushing, and he should be helping them, booping them, taking in the extra damage, stuff like that. But with his positioning that he was at here, he did have an opportunity uh, to boop the Zen and the Ana into the Diva ult. It's not that big of a deal. It's hard to really catch on to that sort of thing in the heat of gameplay, but I thought it was just something to point out. And then we wrap up the push by helping the cart, and then harassing the enemy Reinhardt, and we win the round, which is awesome. Good job. Good cap. Good cap. Okay, so we start the next round. This is the rollout, so it really doesn't matter. But I want you to look at his wall riding here. It's really, really good. He's using his momentum to jump from wall to wall, and he's being really fast here. Just keep this in mind for future reference. Time passes, and here we are. We're dancing on a roof. The round is starting, and we are completely out of position. Then we use our amp it up to get into position, where we're supposed to be when the round starts. And then we have this. So the Roadhog is completely out of position. You can't deny that. And there's nothing our Lucio can do to stop him from being out of position in the first place. But there's something that we can do. But first, let's see what Harky does here. Uh, nothing I can do about that. Sorry, Roadhog. Ro 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 Now you just you just told him a bold faced lie. There's something that you totally could have done there. So you had your speed amp it up available, so you can speed him out of position. This is very important to know when pulling Lucio is to know your teammates' motives and what they're trying to do. Now, you know that Roadhog, he probably knows that he's extremely out of position, so you know he's going to be retreating. So if you amp it up, you can get him out of there. You can also use comms if you feel that you need to and say, Hey Roadhog, I'm speeding you. Get the hell out of there. Oh my okay, God, that was so time passes. 
for some reason Soldier we are way up push up to their spawn we get hooked and we die I don't know why we're doing that I know it can be easy to get caught in the moment and try and boop and punch and shoot your way through the enemy team but especially when you're down in numbers when the Roadhog just died you need to be relaxing and pulling back and just making sure that your team is okay so then we have the run back to the fight. So, you know how I said keep in mind of his wall riding a couple minutes ago? This is why. When we're running back to the fight when it actually matters, we're not using our wall riding skills to our advantage and using that momentum to get to the fight quicker. Instead, we're just running on the ground, which isn't good. Those few seconds can save somebody's life. I know it's kind of nitpicky, but Try and get used to using your wall riding to get back as soon as possible, even during a match. Oh, Widow dead. Right. So we get back to the fight, and the Mercy, Reinhardt, and Roadhog are all in some deep trouble right now. They need somebody to help them. This is where you can be speed boosting them and taking them away from the enemy team. We don't want that Winston on the Mercy. We should be speeding her back, it's along with the Reinhardt and the Roadhog. Yeah, let's, I'm gonna... Paxing, paxing. Instead of doing this, we decide to run away and speed boost some teammates back, which is not the right thing to do. So focusing on the fight first is very important. Now it, you're right, taxiing is important, but that's important when a fight is over and both teams are regrouping. Making sure that your teammates survive is way more important than making sure that your teammates get there. Uh, there's, no, there's only one person. I wouldn't do it. What's in Roadhog as well? That's like perfect for Reaper. Diva, I, I wouldn't put a passy going uh, Reaper. So some time passes and we lose the first point, which isn't good, but it could be worse. We're being slowly pushed back after each uh, team fight by the enemy team, so we're kind of struggling, but what I want to point out here is a good move by Herky. So the Winston jumps on our Mercy, which is not good, and we do a great play by being the barrier between the Winston and the Mercy and booping him back. He's useless if he's five feet away, so using that boop to our advantage is very, very good. Lucio is great at protecting his friendly supports, people like Anna, Mercy, Zen. He's good at protecting them from enemy flankers like Tracer, Genji, or Winston. Being that barrier and making it much more difficult for them to take down our friendly supports that don't really have any way of protecting themselves efficiently is an awesome play. So we see that he also does this at the end of the game when protecting his mercy, booping the ones in the way, making sure she's okay, making sure she can get the res off maybe if they need it. And we help clean up the point and we actually win the match, which is awesome. I think Herky's a pretty good Lucio. I think what he needs to utilize is seeing what his teammates are doing and focusing on speed boost of them in and out of certain situations. But overall, I think he's he's pretty good. Anyways, uh, that's all I have for today's video. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe, it really helps out the channel. And if you want, you can PM me VOD that you want me to review, and maybe I'll review it next on this channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.